coming to do a correction for this particular oil digester the digester was done some i think it should be about four years ago and the homeowner has used it for that length and then the complaint came that whenever they flash it they have a feeling say they can see that the wastewater that's coming out has got some human human waste in it so we just have to open it up and see what can be done about it everybody digester needs a servicing so if you control the body digester obviously you have to have in mind the idea of having servicing done whenever the time is up the homeowner rents this property out so whenever there's a new tenant coming they prefer to do maintenance for the new person that will come and then the, the cycle will start again so we've been asked to come and do maintenance on the digester and we are going to open it for us to, to see how it is like for a digester that has been used for some time so a typical look inside the bio digester that has been used now say we're in here sure it's still clean, even though after it's been used for four years. So what's the problem they were talking about? Hmm? It's it's I guess they be in when I view. And I okay, I think they normally be one back. Okay, then we have to leave the whole thing. Okay. I see you will come. I think it's a whole new enough for home. Yeah. 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 I think it's best to leave the whole thing up just to see the complete inside. And, hey, be careful and, and how it looks like. And, and now only lifting for the other side. Of. The idea with buy digesters is that they work in the absence of oxygen. And the problem people or the fear most people have is that it will smell. And they are afraid they don't want their digester to be open. Or they are afraid that if they do it near their window, it will bring sand to the room. All those fears are not necessary. They, I mean, they are. It's something that is got no truth in them. Mm -hmm. okay. Ah, hold on. Yeah. The book. Today I'm and I just oh yeah yeah. Uh, my Oh, we didn't make no. This is a man bend. No. But sometimes, no. That's why I always prefer the this thing in the middle. If it's in the middle, it's easy. No. Otherwise, the pressure will be on only one side. In a hole, in a in a in a bay. So this one is simple. So what you do is we we just we bay then we bay in the beam. Me you born if you me in the beam. Then we just. So in this case, I have seen where the problem is. Uh -huh. I think when we did it initially, we should have given it a bend so that the feces or the human waste can come into the model. But because of how the pipe was located and another the time the job was done, this is where the pipe came. And it's not ideal because it means that everything fell there, and then with time, all the biodegradable materials there here got melted. Uh, it got biodegraded with the materials and the human waste itself, and then the water. So there's virtually nothing here. So that's what it means that when the feces leaves here, it becomes very like raw. It becomes raw. It doesn't contain what it's supposed to be. The filtration doesn't happen to that extent. So what it means is, you just have to give it a bend and bring it to the middle and re 
do the bedding materials and get it to the point where it's good. We are going to wash inside. We are going to do some cleaning inside. I'm 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 going to do some cleaning inside. If it's here, I'm going to do some cleaning inside. So, how do you do it? And I said, oh, how? Well, it's always best to say, if you have a fish, or closer to the mother, no? Now it's not spreading. Yeah, you know, you Ha, straight, exactly. Yeah, you know, it's not going to be Ah, so, the inside has been washed neatly. And from my assessment, I think part of the problem is the location of the inlet pipe. Where it was located isn't ideal. It should have been located in the middle, or a bend should have been attached to it so that it can come all the way to the middle. So that's exactly what we are going to do for this correction. And we are going to add extend it for another pipe and make sure that the human waste comes into the middle and then it can spread evenly. What happened was because it was done here, all the human waste got stuck here. And in the process, the the pressure was only on one side, so it wasn't spread evenly. So part of the recommendation is that if you are doing the digester, make sure your inlet pipe is in the middle. And even if it's coming from, if it comes from the side, make sure it comes all the way to the middle here. Either from here, or from here, or from here. Always make sure it's centered around the middle. Then the human waste can spread evenly. This goes also to show that those who do it and they put the basket inside, that's why it, it does not last. That's the reason, one of the reasons why we don't put baskets in the digesters. We prefer them for the human waste to spread evenly across all the levels. So this one was washed. Inside has been clean and all the bedding material has been removed. We are going to relay it with a new one. And we are going to do some works at the outlet as well. I'm going to show it to you right now. So we have to put the fiber net in it and tag it nicely so that it can cover all the areas. This fiber net is key because when you are coming to be the servicing, that's what you remove and then you lift it together with the remains. So it has to be tagged nicely and make sure that it's covered the whole place. Then now we can put the bite without material, which is the coconut husk, coconut fiber back on it. And then we we'll spread it evenly. Spread it on all the coins, all the joints. Make sure that it's covering every part of it. We're in the work around, mommy for you for too. We put some bioenzyme in it just to finalize the enhanced filtration and make sure the biodegradation works well at all times. 